Hello, this is MK Akan. Welcome to another episode of the Copy Breakdown Weekly. In today's class, I will be analyzing and breaking down an, a self-copy written by the legend Gary Herbert. And um, I just stumbled on this recently and I downloaded it. It's an awesome sales letter. I'm going to be sharing some of the things that you will find here. So this is a sales letter that was written like a newspaper, right? And um, it was written in the year 20, 2004. And um, it is a, it's a, it's a letter or a newspaper advert or an advertorial, however you want to put it, space ad that is selling a cosmetic product. There are so many things that too many copywriting secrets that we use here. So I'm going to be sharing all of that with you. And um, let's dig in. First of all, let's see the headline. It is cheating, but it works. First and foremost, that looks very contradictory. Uh, all right? It's like cheating. It's cheating, but it works. And the headline says, new cosmetic product makes wrinkle almost invisible to the naked eye. That is very interesting headline. New cosmetic products makes wrinkle almost invisible to the eye. So let me let me mark that up first. Let's see if I can mark that up. New. New is always very powerful. Anytime you can say something is new, it is going to grab attention. Okay? Cosmetic product makes wrinkles almost invisible to the naked eye. That's something very unique. Okay? That's something very unique. Something that is invisible to the naked eye and it takes away wrinkles. This is the desire of the women who don't want to look old. Women spend a lot of money. To buy products and services that can help them look younger. Anything that can take away wrinkles is um, high appeal. And here's the headline promising to show you a cosmetic product that makes wrinkles almost invisible to the naked eye. Okay? So, first and foremost, the headline is promising something the target audience wants, and um, that is very important. Your headline most of the time should talk about what the benefit of the product will be, okay? And um, depending on who you, your target market is, the awareness level and the sophistication level, that headline can change. So let's go on. If you would like to look as much as 20 years younger in less than one minute, this will be the most unbelievable but true message you will ever read. This is the classic if and then headline. All right, this is the classic. Let me reduce the size of that pen. This is the classic if and then headline. If you this, then this. So, if you like to look 20 years younger. No, I don't want that. So that's also very specific. 20 years longer. I need to reduce the size of that thing so let me see okay that was reduced it okay so let's go on 20 years younger is very specific so this will be in less than one minute. That is something that is very powerful. It's a big claim. This 
product is going to help you look 20 years younger in less than one minute all right that is awesome so let's see what the product is and all of that but true this message uh, this will be the most unbelievable but true message you will ever read now there's something that you need to notice there unbelievable using the word unbelievable means that they acknowledge that the promise the claim is very big and most people who read it will doubt it so there's a technique in copywriting that you anticipate the reaction of your target audience and acknowledge it okay so if you're making a very big promise and you know people will doubt it acknowledge their doubt when you do that it will reduce the the doubt and get them to listen to you to prove your point okay that is what they did here unbelievable using the word unbelievable means they are they, they understand that this promise is too big that a lot of people will doubt it and they acknowledge that doubt with that people will be able to settle down and read the page here's why there is now a new cosmetic cream which uses something very much like a magician's trick to the age the appearance of your skin it's called deception before i tell you the secret of how it works i want to tell you how you can test this cream on your very own skin now this is called an open loop before i tell you how it works so that's an open loop right before i tell you how it works this is what you need to do to prove it on your skin here's how you do the test put a little deception on your fingertips and gently rub it onto one side of your face wait about 60 seconds and then look at yourself in the bathroom mirror now this is what i call demonstration proof i need to find a way to write that down for you i call it demonstration proof And somebody might have another name for it, but that's what I, just, I, would, I like to call it. And there might be maybe even a better name for it, demonstration proof. I'm going to explain why I call it that. I want to explain why I call it demonstration proof. So let me just put this and get this done for you properly. Now this is something I have only seen one copywriter do again and again. Okay, I need to edit that. It came out too small. Demonstration proof is a technique that I've seen one copywriter do it more than any other person. I'm talking about Eugene Schwartz. Eugene Schwartz is the copywriter that I noticed who did this again and again. Demonstration, demonstration proof. What he does is that if he's selling you a product that you can test, in fact, even an information product, he will pick out something that you can, you can do to demonstrate the efficacy of the product. All right? He will pick out something that you can do to demonstrate the efficacy of the product all right i don't know what happened to my annotation it's all gone but i'm just going to underline some of the things i underlined before uh naked eye the if then
I don't know what happened, but let me underline some of the things I underlined before. What he does is that he will give you an assignment, something you can do to confirm that what he's saying is true. Right? Unbelievable. Then um, that's the name of the product. That name is used again and again. Sorry about that. So I call it demonstration proof. And what it does, what it does is to help you confirm the product by yourself. And you have to understand this. When somebody uses a, when when somebody concludes on a matter by himself, he believes it more than if somebody told him or her that information. If anytime you confirm or conclude on a matter on your own, it is very difficult for someone to tell you that what you believe is not true. All right? So that is the idea here. I have only noticed Eugene Schwartz use this more than anybody else. He will give you an assignment or something you can do that you can confirm the product. And you can use this even when you are selling information product. You can give somebody, go to page so, so, and so. Pick this tip, use this, you're going to notice this and this. Okay? If you can get somebody to pick one thing and test it immediately, it adds a believability to the product, it adds authority, and people will instantly believe that it must work because of some of the things you're sharing. All right? Now, let's go on. What you see, what you will see will be utterly amazing. If you have put deception on the right side of your face, that side will look up to 20 years younger. Right? That side will look up to 20 years younger. It varies from person to person. Than your left side. And the cream will be 100% invisible. It is colorless, odorless, and you won't even be able to feel it. When you touch your skin, how can this be? What's going on here? Is this some kind of magic? These are the things that your target audience will be talking about, will be asking. So he explains for that. The main ingredient in deception is made from something called emu oil. Now. Like I always explain, when, when you can explain something in the copy, it gives it power, it gives it believability, it gives you results. Anytime you can explain something in the sales copy that you're writing, you'll be able to have results more than anything else. Because explanation gives proof. It shows that what you're saying is true, okay? So, the copywriter is trying to explain what makes deception, the protocol deception, to be very powerful. I'll tell you about emo oil in a moment. Now, this is another clip of anger. Anytime you can you tell somebody, I'll give you more information about something, let me talk about this. That is called a cliffhanger. But first, let me tell you what creates the magic effect. Let's talk about cliffhanger. The cliffhanger helps you to keep people reading your copy. For example, when you're writing long copy, having different cliffhangers around your copy will keep them reading, will keep them reading. This is the only triple refined emo oil in the world. And an extra ingredient is added to it while it's being mixed, being made into a cream. This extra ingredient is a silicon dioxide which has been fractionated. This means instead of being powder, powderized, 
when processed it turns into billions of microscopic three-dimensional nanoprisms now these are all technical parts of this product one thing you, you might also know is this when you're selling something and you can explain a, a little bit because this is what makes the product work a lot of people might be wondering what makes it work why is it why does it make people's face to look invisible or um, how does it make the wrinkles to be invisible this is the copyright that wanted to explain how it works and i want to say that anytime you can explain and then <clears throat> there are complex parts to the explanation that also can give some form of credibility because obviously the reader may not really fully understand what the copywriter is writing but if he or she will think okay i don't understand this but this must be the reason why this thing is working okay but you have to be careful also with using too many technical jargons you want it to be very small the technical part of whatever you're learning should be just a little part of your copy but that can help to show that this thing can be possible because there is the technical part to it right so let's go on so what here's so what almost nobody knows this but the human eye cannot see a wrinkle what the eye sees is actually the shadow made by the wrinkle and since all those billions of microscopic nano prisms retro reflectors refract light when you use deceptors all right once again this is the copywriter trying to explain why this product works okay anytime you're selling something that can be hard to just to directly explain you need to explain how it works explaining how it works is the kind of proof that it works okay anything you can explain something why it works how it works you are adding proof to your copy so we go on there are no shadows to see this effect will last until you wash your face and the invisible silicon dioxide is removed and get this remember how i told you the main ingredient in this cosmetic cream is made from emo oil well it turns out emo oil is probably the best cosmetic ingredient in the world that's because its molecules are much smaller than the molecules in human skin because of this emo oil can penetrate down through seven layers of human skin this makes it the best moisturizer in the world and here's how here's more good news the reason you get wrinkles in the first place as you get old you start losing the collagen in your skin can you guess what emo oil does it stimulates the regrowth of collagen think about it you get the best of both worlds the billions of micro scopic nanoprisms from the fractionated silicon dioxide pretty much make your wrinkle immensely invisible and this happens at the exact same time as the emo oil is moisturizing your skin like it has never been moisturized before and this happens at the exact time exact same time the emo oil is stimulating your own collagen to grow again all of this means your wrinkles get smaller and smaller every day and if you use deception long enough it is possible your wrinkles will no longer exist so this is also part of the explanation now if somebody had doubts listening to that explanation we say okay this is why this works that's the whole purpose of writing the explanation of your copy if you have an idea that is strange to your target audience the only thing you can do to show how workable the idea is is to explain so like i said explanation is a kind of explanation is a kind of proof and when you're writing for clients sometimes you will not really know so much about this your clients can give you information about why this works why it is different and you can also get this information by doing your research all right so remember that if you're writing complex subjects you're writing subjects your clients don't fully understand make sure you find a way to explain what you're saying why it works how it works easily 
that will add proof to your copy so we are on top here so you, we can now we can now understand why deception works the mechanism behind its efficacy excuse me let's go on for a short time this product was available in all the big departmental stores like bloomingdale's henry bendel's Sephora, alter rich and many others but it has now been taken out of the departmental store because it works so well many of the employees were stealing it this when i read this i could not help but laugh I could not help but laugh. This is indirectly saying this product is so good, the employees have no choice but to steal it. This is indirectly. Now, one thing you need to understand anytime you can say something indirectly, that people will insinuate on their own. I've mentioned that before, but it's good to say it again. It is more powerful than giving direct information. That is why storytelling is powerful. So, what this means is that the product was so good, the employees started stealing it, all right? Because of that, it is no more in the market because the employees of the different supermarkets were stealing it. So it's also a kind of proof that the product works. This sales letter is packed with so much proof from at different levels. So this is another way of showing that the product works. It's an indirect kind of proof. That wasn't true of every store, but it happened often enough that Julie Broom, Broomlick, the creator of this miracle cream and the world's leading expert on emo oil, decided to pull it out of all stores and sell it herself exclusively. By the way, this product is a major secret used by Hollywood stars and supermodels. You see, these people often have to look much younger than they really are, or else they lose their job. So this is also adding credibility to this offer. This is adding credibility to this offer also. All right? So, if this product is used by Hollywood stars, then it must be legit. All right, that is where that is where the copywriter is adding some kind of credibility to this offer. All right, people who use if you have products that are used by certain stars, certain celebrities, and they give you the consent to use their names, it is going to be a serious proof of the efficacy of what you're selling. Okay, so let's go on they lose their job. You should also know deception has been raved about by almost every major woman's magazine in the US. Here are just a few of their comments. So again, like I said, there's so much proof. All right, this has been raved about by different There's so much proof in this copy right different kinds of proof this as an example so these are the comments of women from different magazines right affiliation and cell renewal overnight harper's bazaar a potent skin the age longevity magazine lines creases and wrinkles will vanish instantly with deception this corning cream is embedded with micro prisms that reflect light away from wrinkles, smooth on deception, and watch your lines of experience disappear. If anybody sees them anymore, is that cheating? A law, the 21st century fountain of youth is here. Beauty and fashion magazine. It's a bona fide miracle. Flame magazine, an optical illusion that makes wrinkles disappear. Alter magazine for aging skin. It's a dream come true. Harper's Bazaar Deception is a disguises wrinkle star magazine. It's emerging as the world's new cosmetic wage studies done at Boston University have shown that Emo oil may actually stimulate cell rejuvenation 
and help reduce wrinkles and sagging. Vogue. Makeup artists use this on Demi Moore, Goldie Horn, Melanie Griffith, Tommy Toon, and Carrie Fisher. So this is also name dropping if you want to build the credibility of the product. Like I said, anytime you can mention the names of the users, especially if they're celebrities, it will add more credibility to what you're selling. Then Depa Dance Paper, a celebrity newspaper for rich people who live in the Hamptons area of New York State. Anyway, this cream seems to work for everyone, everyone who uses it, and it comes with a 100% ironclad money back guarantee. So, every line in this copy is important because usually when you're writing newspaper copy, you don't want to write so much because you don't have so much space. So that you don't spend so much money. So every word, every sentence you write must be useful, must be valuable. And that is exactly what the copywriter did here. Everything is very, very valuable. And then it talks about that the product can be used by everyone. All right? Opening the market wide enough for a lot of people. And then it talks about 100% money back guarantee 100% ironclad money back guarantee some professional models say they would pay more than $1,000 for a single jar of this miracle cream and then use it only when they had to go on a photo shoot so this is called price anchor when you reveal the price of something but you mention a higher price before you mention the true price it's called price anchor and that's exactly what's going on there but you and the models too can get a jar of deception without paying anything close to one thousand dollars the cream is only 39.95 per jar plus three dollars for shipping and handling so you can see that that is the true price of the product but the um, 39.95 was named was dropped so you can see the difference between $1,000 and 39.95 when you do that it makes the real price to look small so if you want to mention the price of what you're selling make sure you don't just mention the price mention a higher price first use the price anchor technique to help you make the price look smaller okay let's go on if you would like to order deception and use it for yourself, how much longer this almost magic product can make you look in less than one minute? Simply follow the easy order instruction below. All right, these are two ways you can order this cream. The first way is to write your check in the amount of $39.95 plus 3% shipping and handling total $42.95 payable to Dremel Skincare. And send it to that the address if you if you do that we will send deception to you immediately by first class mail or you can order it by credit card and have it delivered to your doors within days all you have to do is call my answering service and that's the number and give the operator who answers your name address and credit card details after you do that you will rush your order to you immediately by first class mail there's tremendous demand so there's some urgency here there's some urgency there there's tremendous demand for this product and all the lines are busy please keep calling until you get through or just leave your name and phone number and we'll call you back as soon as possible thank you for reading all right so that is the sales letter let me read this part here this is a the picture of a lady and the copy there says this woman in this photograph is an international professional model you have probably seen her in hundreds of magazines and photographs without knowing her name she keeps her name secret because if people in the industry knew her true age it would be difficult for her to get work as a model look closely at the photograph she looks young enough to be a teenager getting ready for prom night. Yet yeah, this woman has a seven-year-old daughter and her real age is somewhere in her 30s. 
all she will say about her age to her close friend is, I am dangerously close to 40. She also says, if it weren't for this amazing new cosmetic cream, Deception, created by Julie Brunlick, I would lose hundreds of modeling assignments because there is no way I could pass myself off as a teenager. By the way, and just in case you are interested, the above photo has not been airbrushed, airbrushed or retouched in any way possible. This is also a kind of proof. This is also a kind of proof and also a kind of testimonial that this product works. So a model is used here to give a testimonial and you can see she has a dialogue, a dialogue or a quote that endorses the products. She talks about the product helping her stay young so that she can keep her job as a model. Right? If models are using this product, if Hollywood stars are using this product, the people who are reading it will automatically believe that it is powerful and it works. So these are the kinds of proof that is used in this copy. One of the main things I want you to learn from this breakdown is the demonstration proof. You will hardly see many copywriters use it. Personally, I have not been using it so much, but I'm going to start using demonstration proof from today. Okay? You should start using it too. When you're selling anything, whether it's a product, especially a product that people can actually test and use. Pick something that you can ask them to try immediately to buy the product. It will give them the feeling that the product works just because you are able to demonstrate proof. Demonstration proof, all right? That is the main lesson that I have picked here and I want you to also pick, okay? So you're selling an information product. Pick one point on a page or on a particular part, something that is easy to try, something that is easy to do that can get the instant result, and then put that in your copy as a way for them to prove for themselves that the copy works. If it is a software, do the same thing. If it is a, a physical product, maybe e-commerce product that they can try, same thing, right? But this works the best for products that people can actually do a demonstration and even for information products, okay? So that's all I have for you today. Uh, go look at the sales letter again yourself, read it, and um, try to check for, for other things that you can find from this sales letter. This was written by the great Gary Halbert, and it's very easy flowing, very powerful, and it's so many things are happening here, very powerful proof elements to make you want to buy this, okay? I hope you've learned a thing or two from what I've shared with you today. And till, till next week, we'll have another class and I'll break down a lot of letter. Thank you for listening. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.